All right, welcome back, you lovely chaps. I am Wake Run Collapse. It is time for box five of twenty of Rising Fist. In the background, you have the first four booster boxes that I opened. Two of them were amazing for two ridiculously cool full arts, and two of them not so amazing when it comes to those secret rare or ultra rare pulls. I'm really hoping to get back on track before the specialty openings begin. Yep, still missing the Mega Heracross EX regular version. Still missing five out of the seven full arts. And of course, the Ultra Rare Heracross and Lucario. Neither one of those has shown their faces yet. So we're going to rip open 20 more first edition booster packs of Rising Fist and see what lies in store for all of us. Really pumped to pull some more sweet cards, and we're kicking it off with a Glaceon, Shroomish, Clefable, Noibat, and Jinx. So the set has cooled off a little bit from my first two boxes. I've gone about 50-something packs without pulling a full art or ultra rare, so hoping to break that streak today. Bertic, Machoke, Amara, Torchic, and Strong Energy. And the singing birds in the background apparently are also excited for Rising Fist. Alright, that awesome looking Magmorta, Electabuzz, Scraggy, Bellsprout, yeah! Seismitoad EX Full Art. How about that? What a way to break the streak. Originally, I was really not happy with this artwork, but once I saw better scans of it, I really got to appreciate the color scheme that they have going on with this and the design of the card. It is really awesome. Look at the way that the light just explodes off of the background there. Oh, it's so cool. Get a zoom in there at the bottom so you can see that it is 98 out of 96 secret rare. First edition symbol on the left hand side. Check it out. This is definitely up there as one of the unlikeliest full arts around. I think the only, uh, the only full art that would be, well, more, or I suppose you would call it less likely, uh, to have seen uh, in the X and Y series is probably Toxicroak. Uh, I think Emolga was probably destined to happen anyways at one point or another, and it had already happened before in Shiny Collection. And Magnezone isn't a ridiculous stretch, but Seismitoad, just crazy. Really, really cool. So happy to add this to my collection. It is only my second full art Pokemon out of these Rising Fist booster boxes, as one of the full arts was a trainer card. I did pull the Fossil Researcher and, of course, that Full Art Dragonite. But this is amazing. What a hell of a pull to kick off this box. Now let's see if we can pull that Mega Heracross EX and only hunt Secret Rares and Ultra Rares from here on out. That would put me in a great position to potentially complete my set out of 20 boxes. Alright, Tornadus, Makuhita, Golet, Vigoroth, and Training Center. Yeah, and now that we've pulled the uh, the secret rare or ultra rare from the box, I think we can speed it up a little bit and just go hunting for the good cards. Karina, Pancham, Magmar, Drowsy, and a Hollow Victory Bell. Lovely, lovely. Always nice to see the stage twos getting some love. I think they even need more support in the uh, in the TCG to make playing decks with them. You know reasonably possible. Uh, Battle Reporter, Licky Licky, Hitmonchan, Poliwhirl, and Electivire. This EX is so dominant right now. It's crazy. Alright, Mountain Ring. Come on. Shelmet, Clefairy, Poliwag, and Thunderous. I love seeing the non-hollow legendaries too. Wish they would do that more often in sets. Aurorus, uh, Mindfu, Weeping Bell, Eevee, and Sylveon. Excellent. Sylveon's probably my most common of the uh, of the hollows that I've been pulling so far. But I certainly don't mind. Oh man, that's Seismitoad. That really cheered me up. 
Uh, Strong Energy, Clauncher, Scrafty, Gothita, and Electivire. Figure with all the Rising Fist openings that I've got to do, let alone everybody else's. Should really try to keep the time down on some of these. Flygon, Machop, Klefki, Hitmonlee, and Blaziken. Now you guys have stuff you've got to do. Uh, I would imagine that school is coming to an end around now. Being the middle to the end of June, college has got out about a month ago. High school graduated a couple weeks ago around here, like three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. So you got to focus. Uh, Hariyama, Noibat, Jaw Fossil, Minin, and Maintenance. Want to make sure that Pokemon doesn't completely overtake your ability to, um, you know, finish out your school year with a bang and, well, stay strong with that kind of stuff. Golark, Mindshow, Electabuzz, Trap Inch, awesome. Seismitoad EX. Sweet stuff. Great companion piece to the Seismitoad. Full art. So I'll definitely have to remember to showcase those in one frame at the end of this video when I do my recap. Still gotta find that Mega Heracross. I'm hoping it's in this box. Alright, we have a Vertic, Watchog, Makuhita, uh, Skarupi, and Herb Energy. I'm <laughs> just this landfill of packs over here. Tyrantrum, Tyrant, cool, uh, Slackoth, Magmar, and another Hollow Landorus. Landorus seems to be showing up a lot as well. Making Tornadoes and Thunderous jelly because it's a hollow version, but I honestly think that the Landorus is my least favorite of the uh, those three artworks, so if anything, it's cool that they balanced it by giving it the hollow treatment. Alrighty, Focus Sash, Vibrava, Cub Chew, Hitmonchan, and another Halucha. That one's been pretty common for me as well. I've struggled to pull, um, what is it, Machamp, I think? I think I've only pulled one of those so far. But I'm sure I will get plenty more of those. Uh, Leafeon, Gotharita, Sail Fossil, Patrat, and cool, a Heracross EX. Not the Mega, but still a Hera. That's pretty awesome. Sleeve that bad boy up, slide him right over here. In case you guys were curious, I did go back through, and yes, there were only nine Hollows and EX out of my fourth booster box. I counted the cards that remained, and there were 91, so that apparently is possible again, which kind of bums me out. Uh, Fighting Stadium. Poliwag, Lickitung, Aselgore, and Magmorta. I was really hoping they would standardize it at 10 after they had done so for Wild Blaze. Or at least they did for my frickin' 21 boxes. I don't know, it just leads the possibility open for disappointing boxes, and you never like to see that. Gothitelle, Eevee, Hitmontop, Plusle, and a Slacking Hollow. So I'm hoping that as a result, I'm going to pull an 11 hollow or better box somewhere down the line. I'd be totally fine if it were this one. Get that Mega Heracross dough. Uh, Fossil Researcher. Researcher, I can speak. Uh, Combuskin, Machop, Shroomish, and Glaceon. In the final pack, and it looks like we're going to keep this opening under 10 minutes, which is really all we could have asked for. And we get a Hypno, Clefable, Noibat, Machoke, and a Dene. So definitely a sweet box for me to be able to uh, open this time around. Definitely good to break the mini streak of being unable to pull full arts or ultra rares. And they all go to the front. Let's see how many we got this time around. Yeah, we got nine in this box too. That's... Kind of a stinker. Uh, Hollows were Blaziken, Sylveon, Victory Bell, Halucha, Landorus, and Slacking. EXs were Heracross and Seismitoad. And oh yes, the Seismitoad EX Full Art. So yeah, only nine Hollows are better in this box as well. Anywho, thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And make sure you come back tomorrow morning because I will be opening 100 packs of Rising Fist in a single video.